What's good? What's good? Welcome to Epic Entertainment Critics. I'm Antoine. And I'm still James. And we are doing an epic TV show review of Peacemaker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Episode five. We've been getting, uh, I think we got every episode in. We did one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, episode five review. Um, it's a good episode, man. And like I said from before, I, I love this show. I'm having a lot of fun watching the show. And I yeah. can't. I'm fine myself. Can't wait till the next episode come out. Oh yeah, <laughs> every every episode I'm like, come on, man, I need more. And I've actually rewatched uh, every episode too. Did you? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I haven't rewatched this last one yet, but I'm going to. Uh, so yeah, we as we know, the, we got the butterflies. Yeah, um, it's like a thing with the. the you know, when I saw this gorilla, I thought that was. I was like, is that Grot? You know? Yeah. Course, if, did you think that? I, that has to be where you, the first place your mind goes. Like, yeah, it's either didn't him. it talk though? Yeah, I did think you hear it did. talk? I think it did. We gonna we gonna look at that little. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna look, look at that, that clip back just, just to make sure because I said I, I swear this gorilla talked, but I might have thought I heard it. Anyway, back it up. Right. <laughs> so in this episode, man, the um, we know about um, the butterflies in people's heads or whatever. So we know that they trying to investigate that or whatever. So all we find out, Mern is a one. butterfly, yeah. Um, but they never, they didn't get back to that because he doesn't act different around yeah. people. Um, well, I mean, he's he acts different, but that's him, right? He don't act to a point that he he's not acting out of the ordinary that he is. So like, like I guess he's been a butterfly the whole time. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no. Um, so yeah, they 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 they're still doing this little investigation, but then uh, they got the little PowerPoint presentation of the butterfly, <laughs> which which <clears throat> which kind of give you a cool a little funny scene where they yeah. just talking stuff. But okay, so they go out. <clears throat> excuse me, they go and to get these they they go on a mission to take out these butterflies, and you gotta get to see some superhero stuff uh, where. Actually, their helmet is useful. Yeah. They talked about it, too, where it's got x-ray vision on yeah. it, and it's got, like, a force field and all that like stuff. Like, he's got all these different helmets that do all these different things, man. It's actually kind of dope. Right, right. And I was like, uh, and I was like, yeah, they the helmet do look stupid, but they, it, it's kind of cool. Yeah. When he use it, it's kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> like the, I guess the question is, is it cool enough for, for you to get over how, how bad it looks? Uh yeah, once once you see it in action, yeah, yeah. once you see it in action, you can do that. Yes, right. But when you just when you see it, like when I first seen it on Suicide Squad, I'm like, it looks ridiculous. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was just like, okay, this is a joke. That, that helmet <laughs> looks too stupid. <laughs> like you you could be forgiven for thinking, oh, they're gonna replace this with a re- with the real helmet, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hold on. Mm. Oh crap. Well, let's see. Here. So, uh, so far <laughs> we've seen what? Uh, go. Uh, here we go. <laughs> but uh, we've seen what? How many uh, helmets has he shown off now? Two, three? Well, it's two, the but field. they described more than that. Yeah. Because he put a whole bunch in his bag. Yeah. He, he grabbed all of them. <laughs> right. So we know that. I, I don't know if it was like a, uh, a force, it wasn't like a force field, it was a whatever the first one, yeah, that blast, yeah, it was like a sonic blast or something, <laughs> I, yeah, it was, I, it was something, I don't remember exactly what it was supposed to be, but yeah, and this one had x ray vision. But this is the scene I was talking about where they're doing it. <laughs> the PowerPoint, <laughs> found the creatures in a handful of high profile politicians, celebrities, and titans of industry. They enter the human body through one of its orifices <laughs> and borrow through the brain, where they're then in control of the body. They go through the butt? I think that's just some uh, creativity on the part of whomever did the animation. The butt is an orifice, okay? That means they'd have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. <laughs> Bigotry. Superman How ba- hard would that be to listen to if you were a butterfly? Oh, yeah. The <laughs> uber is the old shizers. I understand it. Where do you get this nonsense? Google. Well, it's not true. You know more than Google? Well, congratulations. <laughs> butterfly. Uh, act like a, a he is. He's acting like a. Yeah, he's acting like a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. It's just uh, like if you were in, in class and just, just the a-hole in class yeah. instead of yeah. being an a-hole. That's all it is. Yep. <laughs> uh, damn. Let me see. But no, um, so yeah, when they, once they, uh, it cracks me up, once they start doing some action stuff and then they attack the, uh, <laughs> they attack the facility. Uh, you know, it seems like we don't know who the butterflies is yet, right. but okay, he got x ray vision. Right. So he just started just shooting people. Yep. <laughs> and he wasted no time. He's like, activate the x ray vision. Oh, pow. But see, they didn't let us know what was going on. He yeah. was just shooting people. He was just shooting. <laughs> like, I hope that that's, you know, kosher. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, because this was in the trailer, the show trailer, but uh, his uh, grenade duct tape to a missile. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, like, I should, do, do I have to tell you to run from a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how, how dangerous is that? I don't know. I invented it this morning. <laughs> I, I do like that loose usage of the word invent. <laughs> he, he duct taped. taped he just <laughs> taped two explosive devices together and pulled the fucking pin. So okay, so Ugh. they raided this facility, and it was full of butterflies. So they seen they find out where the butterflies get their food from. Yeah, which is kind of it's kind of a cool scene. So now we get somewhere. Yeah, now we get somewhere with the plot. We get somewhere with the butterflies, whatever. We get some action. But uh, this is the scene here where, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that won't catch him. He got moves, man. They should all be dead, by okay, the way. Okay, it's in. Hold on. Like, once you got him down, didn't you say, like, die or something? Yeah. Okay. The die human, yeah, yeah. So, my only real <laughs> gripe about that is, so we already know that the butterflies make people stronger and faster when they're in so, there. And a gorilla is already like three times stronger than a human. Uh huh. Well, more than that, probably. <laughs> probably more than. That. So this motherfucker should have been like snapping them in half every time he touched them. They they did the the with somebody stronger than you, than them, and they fight them on shows and movies. What's they do? When they can snap their neck. Yeah. What do they do? They throw them to it. They throw them. They always throw them. <laughs> Even like in Terminator and all that. Yeah. If you're a robot and your main goal is to kill like, someone, all you gotta do is wrap your hand around them once, and <laughs> once you got your hands on them, it's, it's a wrap. Like, <laughs> like, if you grab them on the arm, you can rip the arm off. Right. Yeah. That's the whole point, and that's what happened. Like in the first Terminator, the Terminator never got his hands on Sarah. Yeah. But if you got his hands on Sarah, it would have been a wrap. Over. And the Over. thing was, on movies, they they get their hands on them, they choke them, and then they throw them. Well, <laughs> they throw him to a wall. <laughs> I mean, then again, this this how uh, is that helping you? This girl also <laughs> doing spin kicks and shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually kind of tight. <laughs> 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 he did a nice little kick on him, but no. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they they were shooting him or yeah. whatever. He just kind of just off. slapping people around or whatever. But right, if you that strong, once you get your hands on somebody, that should be yeah, should be a wrap. Should be a done deal. <laughs> but um. Also, let's not forget this gorilla was uh, doing all of their com the computer hacking for the butterflies. Was he? Yeah, that was his. That was his space where they would do had all the computers set up. That's why they said he was their uh, their protector. It wasn't just because he was strong. Like this motherfucker. Oh, I thought I did not see that. I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> so like, so this motherfucker is like doing like mixed martial arts. I guess maybe they didn't want to give him the uh, put grind in there. I'm like, well. It should be in Grodd then. Grodd or, or maybe uh, for Gorilla City. Grodd or maybe M Monsieur Mala, somebody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. 
That's interesting though if they did that. Yeah. Because they did a real crappy version of Grind on the Flash. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that version of Grind. And that's not canon, so we could do that. <laughs> what what even is canon anymore? Anyways. <laughs> um but yeah, so we, we managed to take down John Economos manages to redeem himself by killing a super uh alien infested gorilla. Which once he started talking, I was like, oh, we're going to get somewhere. And next thing you know, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's like every time you start hearing something that could help you figure out what's going on. Somebody dang. kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Man, out of bio, like they're just hammering home how ill-suited she is to this. Like Peacemaker yeah. will blow a butterfly's head off with a shotgun. And then she's like, you, you don't need to shoot them. I, they're, they're dead. But we already know she's not. You know, I mean, it's not even, it's not even a... But it's like the constant making a gag out of it is what's starting to wear on me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, I get it. Like, you don't have, like, all you have to show is that she's, like, uncomfortable and, like, not, like, in sync with the situation. Well, it's it's the comedy of, you know, um, it's the comedy of, she. we already know she don't belong here now. Right. She's doing stuff like shooting people after they already did. Yeah. <laughs> It was kind of funny. Um, Side, I guess. But, but. Oops, <laughs> it never does what I tell it to do. I know. That's why it's about to be. You about to beat the fuck up out of <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> um, but no, no, we know though she's Amanda Waller's daughter. Yeah, and which I kind of really don't know why they did that, but I mean, because I feel like you putting her right in danger. Yeah. Uh, she, because she's only the survivor by luck, right? Yeah, and also, <laughs> I don't think that they needed to make her Amanda Waller's daughter just to give her a reason to be there. Well, they, yeah, they just wanted Amanda to kind of have a connection, yeah, and all that. Like, because I, the way I look at it, I would have just made like Harcourt her inside, you know, yeah, link to the team, right, you know? right, right, right. So it's like, literally, she's here because she doesn't fit in, right. Well, she's she's normal. She's just like like yeah. if you worked at a job and somebody worked yeah. at the job, it's just at a bio, just like a chick that worked there. You know, it's, she, <laughs> Every, she's like not, everybody else is handpicked for this team for yeah. a specific reason. <laughs> then we got the temp. It's almost like she's there just to be a a, a friend to talk to. Yeah, <laughs> she's the friendly temp. That's all she is. Yeah. But okay, so at the end though, we do get some interesting stuff. Yeah. Where we was talking about, you know, Mern was uh Mern was uh of course uh, a butterfly and we don't know what's gonna happen there or whatever or what's the deal there. So they kinda they kinda let you see that somebody gonna figure it out. So I got this little scene. Activate X ray vision. Cover looks so good. God, that's a stupid helmet. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Yo, Mr. Mern, this is crazy. You gotta check this. We gotta see what's gonna happen from there. Right. <laughs> uh, like I do appreciate the way they end all these episodes. You can't not come back. Yeah, I think it's ten episodes. I think so. Yeah, around there. So uh, this is man. five. So, so this halfway. Through. Man. So maybe maybe he is one of the good butterflies, and we're gonna see what's gonna happen we, with we that. We're gonna find out um, because they going they got five episodes, so they can't. <sighs> They gonna have to address this. Yeah. They can't just say like it can't just be oh we killed him. We we'll get done. back to it or yeah, whatever because that's a main character. She found out and it's five episodes left. So we gotta handle this. Yeah, this yeah. is something gotta be addressed here. Yeah. So maybe he we think he gonna kill her, but then he gonna sit her down like hey, it's bad All butterflies, right, so look, good butterflies. I, I know butterfly. this looks bad, <laughs> but and I'm gonna need you to keep this to yourself <laughs> or you're dead. <laughs> And it's one. It's the one person on the team that can't hide shit. 
Like she can't even have hide a picture of her uh, girlfriend's cooch. No. <laughs> <laughs> she got. Uh, 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 so yeah, she's just she's one of those characters that, like I said, she's like a normal. She's not. She's a black normal ops. human being. She yeah. hasn't been trained in no way on any of this. But like, I guess that makes she, her. She's the got most. all the basics, but none of it's been put together. Yeah. Well, I mean, she she don't know black ops. She yeah. don't know how to, you know, uh, do that. She's just a normal person. Yeah. But no, uh, it's it's good, man. I want to see where this go. Um, that was a good cliffhanger. <laughs> so we'll see where that's going to end up going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I, I'm loving the hell out of this show, bro. Right. Me too. Me too. So, all right, man. We're going to wrap up. Uh, that's episode five um, of The Peacemaker. I was like, do they have a name for the episode? But I didn't really. I, uh, they probably did. I didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, they did. I don't remember what it was. But yeah, um, yeah, we're going to wrap up. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, anybody that's watching, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you can get alerts every time we post new videos or if we live stream. And if you like what you've seen here today, please, please, please hit that thumbs up down below. Let us and YouTube know that you like this video and drop a comment down below. And don't forget to share with your friends. Yeah, we out of here. Peace.